Hey there, Steve here. Hope you're doing well. Welcome to another episode of Steal This Chord Progression, where I'll teach you a useful functional chord progression that'll hopefully inspire you to pick up your guitar and start writing some song ideas around it. Today we have this really nice progression that I see as a 6-4-1-3 progression, and in context it sounds like this. So this is a pre-chorus progression from a song called Persimmon that I wrote for my band Mountains and we just recently recorded this and released it so if you'd like to hear the full version of that there's a link for that down below in the description. So to better understand how this chord progression works and to give you some better ideas of how you can use it and how you can come up with such ideas uh, we need to go back to when I initially wrote this chord progression and at that time I initially had this riff idea for this song. After this riff I was thinking well what would logically be the next part of this song and I came to the conclusion that I'd like something that really you know widens the song, opens up the song and that led me to think about the chords that I could use and the Fort Trail ended up basically thinking well I can use that classic Midwest emo, very epic sounded open chords uh, but the problem that I came into was that a lot of these bands that do that are using different tunings and I for this song was stuck in standard tuning. So I pondered for a little while and then I worked out that I was in the key of E or A major at the time and that means I could probably trick uh, my listener into thinking that these are kind of this um, you know different alternative tuning and standard by including the B and the E string in my chord progression and thus it didn't take me too long to work out chords that I could use that would function well with these open strings. <laughs> And because of that ringing B and E string, it has that kind of feeling of being like an open sounding chord, even though all of the progression is changing the entire time. Well, I'm sure you're thinking by now, well, that's great for you, Steve. How can I use it in my song? I can't exactly just go and copy the idea that you've written. And you're right. Well, I'm here to tell you, of course you can use this progression. And I want to show you a few inspirational examples that are going to help you come up with your own ideas. And all you need to start with is a different strumming pattern. So by using a different strumming pattern, we can give this idea a completely different feel. So for example, if we use 3-4 and we use this classic kind of driving strumming pattern. We've introduced a completely different feel there around those same chords. Also we can approach this by changing the melody notes. So you may have noticed in this progression we got that going on with the chord progression there and that's something I like to do in my playing when I craft ideas but we can do something similar here um, by moving all of the melody for example if we wanted to. chords a bit of a stretch but yeah we can start to think about how you can move the melody in the progression like that and that completely changes the idea but we get that same open tuning feeling and we've got the overall feel of the progression still wonderful for another approach all you need is a capo and we can just attach that anywhere on the fretboard you're comfortable with I'm just going to go with the fourth fret here and this is going to change the overall sound and feel of the idea completely even though we're using that same chord progression And lastly, we can keep the same chord progression, but we can just change the chords instead. So now that you've learned a new progression, hopefully been inspired to try out some new song ideas, the next thing I suggest you think about is the different kinds of strumming patterns that you can use with these chords. And for that, I suggest checking out this video next. And if you're interested in learning about more chords or math rock in general, then head over to my Patreon page where you'll find lots of useful resources to help you learn, write and play math rock guitar. Thanks for watching, thanks to the patrons, and I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye.